So there are new form came out since June first for FinTrack. One is called beneficiary ownership record. So if your client is a company, then you have to record this FinTrack form. For part one, record keeping general. A for corporate entities. Name all directors of corporation, which you can find all director name on notice of articles. And the second part is you have to list all person who owns twenty five percent indirectly or directly shares, right? So shareholders who own over twenty five percent, you have to put their name and address here, and could be a person that's directly. Or a company that's indirectly company could own other company's share. Try your best to get the central security registration. Otherwise, the, you cannot find this information anywhere. But if you cannot find it or people won't provide it, that's fine. For trust entities, trust means one holding property on behalf of another person or a company. Person A or person company A holding a property for person B or company B, right? So they're just holding the property, but the real owner is someone behind it. That's trust, right? C widely held or publicly held trust entities. This way rarely seen, but if you have seen this client, give me a call. For entity other than corporation trust. Also, give me a call. You don't see this too very often. So, two record keeping, ownership, structure, and control. So, you have to explain here、um, that a company is owned by individual shareholders, or a company that is owned by individual shareholders and holding companies, right, or other operating companies, whatever the structures might be. And number three, record keeping for nonprofit, right? So if you're dealing with nonprofit or they don't have to pay tax, click yes. But if not, check on no. Number four, confirm accuracy of information in section one and two. How did you get information for section one and two, which are the director's name, shareholder's name? Are they trust? Right, this is section one, and section two is the structure. So you can check on here, ask, right? You can ask for their shareholder registry, or security registry, certificate of corporation status, and、uh, all other stuff, right? And when did you ask for it? So you can ask for it, but you may not. Get those information. What do you do now? Number five, if you don't get any of those information, right? So if you're dealing with a company, then you have to do two thing track. One is the person that dealing with you. He may not be the CEO of the company, right? If he is the CEO of the company, that's even easier. Check on the first one. Took reasonable measure to verify the identity of the entities, chief executive officer, which is CEO, or the person who performs that function, right? So, if somebody is only a signing officer, and you're dealing with them, and you cannot get information on their shareholders, so now you just fin track the CEO of the company, right? Verify this person. That's all you have to do. So this is called beneficiary ownership. You need this form when you're dealing with a company client.